How is it going everybody Mr Android here well if you own a Samsung Galaxy device then the first thing you need to do is head over to the Galaxy store and download Goodlock it's a must have app for your Samsung phone with that being said today i will be showing you how to get most out of this amazing application and take your smartphone experience to the next level with that said it is going to be a very interesting video so stay tuned and watch it till the very end also let's aim for 1500 likes on this one so drop a like leave a comment and let's get started Let's say if I am in Chrome and I want to open a new tab I just need to swipe right and it gives me a bunch of different options making the navigations a lot easier Similarly if I want to open any app in a split screen window I just have to swipe down from the right side and select the app that I want to open I am able to add these additional gestures with the help of one hand operations so just open the goodlock application and download this module once done simply go inside and here you can assign different actions for different gestures you can now add some new functions to the swipe actions for example if i select the keyboard shortcut for swiping right it allows me to access some very useful shortcuts while using certain applications next i get a lot of questions asking me how to reduce the size of these app icons if you long press the home screen select settings here the maximum grid size you can set is up to 5 by 6 which doesn't make the icons look smaller so what you can do is you can download the home up module then select home screen now you can easily change the grid size to 7 by 7 which definitely helps you to reduce the icon size not only this you can also change the app screen grid but i usually keep it at 4 by 6 since we are in home up let me show you how you can change the app drawer scrolling orientation when i open my app drawer i need to swipe left or right to access all my applications but if you really want to change it to vertical layout then just go inside home up module select home screen and enable this option that says app list you can also adjust the amount of columns you want i know a lot of you prefer this vertical layout and now you can do that with the help of goodlock application guys before i move on if you love watching these kind of videos then please do support this channel we are very close to 200k subscribers so if you haven't already then hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon it would mean a lot to me There are times when we accidentally take a screenshot and it gets saved in your gallery but now you can add a very useful delete button in this toolbar that lets you instantly delete any screenshot you have taken For this you need to install the nice shot module which you can find inside the goodlock application then select this option that says add delete button now when you take a screenshot you will have a delete button that will instantly delete the screenshot you have just taken this can be super useful when you take screenshots by mistake Next up let's talk about one of my favorite module called theme park. Did you know now you don't have to install a third party launcher just to change and apply different icon packs you have downloaded from the Play Store. All you have to do is simply go inside theme park, select icon, tap on create new and then click on icon pack. Here you can apply any third party icon pack by using the default Samsung launcher. I am really glad Samsung finally added this feature. Now we don't have to compromise on these beautiful animations. Not only this, you can also change the color of your app icons. Let's say if I want all my icons in blue color, I can easily do that. It has this uniform look which a lot of you might prefer. Did you know you can actually use the volume buttons to control your music? Let's say if I want to go to the next track, I just need to long press the volume up key and to go to the previous track, I have to press the volume down button. To activate this feature on your phone, you will need a Goodlock module called Sound Assistant. Just select Sound Assistant and then enable this option that says control music with volume keys that's it now you can easily change the music without unlocking your phone when i lock my device you see how my lock screen looks clean i don't have the status bar on the top and i have also removed the lock icon that appears on the lock screen if you really want to change the look of your lock screen and make it look clean you just need to download the lockstar module once done go inside lockstar and here you can customize each and every element on your lock screen You can remove the status bar, change the clock style, and you can add more app shortcuts as well. Another cool thing you can do is you can increase the lock screen timeout. By default, it is set to 15 seconds, but you can change it as per your preference. This feature cannot be found inside the settings menu, so you will need to have the Lockstar module in order to change the lock screen timeout. So that's pretty much it. These are some cool features you can activate by using the Goodlock application. It definitely changes the way how you are using your Samsung smartphone. So I will highly recommend you to download Goodlock application. It's a must have app for all the Samsung users. 
so that's it for this video if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i'm mr android and i will see you guys in the next one